about an invasion. It is the arrival of a strange small animal you may have never seen before. We're giving you a heads up before it ends up in your backyard. We are talking about armadillos. Now, if you lived in the Carolinas for a while, chances are you've never seen these armored mammals. They're not a common sight in North Carolina. They're most associated with the Southwest US, Central and South America as well. But according to experts, their habitat range is growing. We started to see armadillos come in the first time was in 2007 in Macon County. Um, however, it was pretty slow the first few years. However, based off what we saw in other states, we knew we knew armadillos were coming uh, and, and they certainly have come. So we went from that one observation in Macon County in 07 to now we've got almost 900 observations in 70 counties in North Carolina. Now, not all of those observations have been confirmed or credible, but we still track them. We do know we've confirmed armadillos in 28 counties, and they're mainly coming in from Georgia, South Carolina, and western or eastern Tennessee. Going to get your attention when you see one, right? A couple of fun facts for you here about armadillos. There are about 20 different species, but only one is native to the United States, the nine-banded armadillo. They're the only mammals known to have shells as natural shields for protection. They're generally docile, so they're not a threat to you or your pet, but they can cause some damage to your property, like digging into the garden, the lawn, the flower bed. They love to dig around. They love to root around. And here in the Carolinas, yes, they are becoming more and more common. This map right here shows that the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission has had more than 100 observations of nine banded armadillos in the Carolinas since 2019. You see all of the red dots here on the map. Most out west in the western part of the state, but there have been some confirmed sightings close to us, right? Gastonia, Kings Mountain, also Monroe. You may be wondering what's causing them to come north. Yeah, I think it's a few things. I think one is just as those armadillo populations expanded and increased in those other states that I mentioned, the spillover was naturally coming into North Carolina. You know, anytime we see a wildlife population grow, you know, we're going to see the younger armadillos start to move someplace else to find other armadillos to breed with. So that's just reflecting the growing population overall in the southeast. But I think the other factor is we are seeing a more mild, mild winters in North Carolina. You know, we're seeing less freezing days and freezing conditions are really challenging for armadillos. If you only have one or two days in a row of below freezing conditions, an armadillo can survive that. So that's the other reason is the cold temperatures that used to limit them, uh, we no longer have it as extensively, and that's allowing armadillos to expand. And we do know that uh, there's some scatter reports even into Virginia now of armadillos. Hmm. So the day may come soon when you find an armadillo in your garden. So what do you do? Well, if you see one, you are asked to take part in the North Carolina Armadillo Project. Fortunately, that is really simple to do. You can email armadillo at nc-wildlife.org. Uh, we have that link on our page that tracks armadillo sightings on the On Your Side Tonight tab of our website, wbtv.com. You're asked to take a picture of the armadillo with where you found it and when. Well, I, I'm a biologist for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, and one of our responsibilities is to monitor wildlife in North Carolina, and that includes even the non-native wildlife, such as armadillos. And by monitoring them, we can learn more about not only where they're occurring, but if they're becoming established, as well as any impacts they may have, either on people or on the ecosystem. And, and those impacts could be positive or negative. Um, you know, we, we're we trying to learn more about what their role will be in North Carolina, because Armadillos are here to stay. You know, they've come in, um, even so they're non-native, they really can't really be managed. And so we know they're here to stay. So now we just need to learn more about this new animal in North Carolina and what does it mean for people and for the other native species and the native habitats in North Carolina. Yeah, so a lot more to learn, and that's where you can help.